This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Purse.io to beat the status quo. Alright, so here's the seemingly unwelcoming uh, weather environment to which uh, Rand Paul will be visiting in, uh, well, I could say a few minutes, probably more like an hour. This is uh, the Londonderry Fish and Game Club. And they have, they're having a public event. Featuring Dr. Paul. So in this small space, probably one of the smaller, that you'll see him in as this campaign unfolds. He's slated to answer questions from gun owners. Primarily, I guess. Hey, all right, come in. Oh, hi, they really can meet you. See you. Who are you with? It's uh, really report.com. It's like a poor okay. man's TV station. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't know I was here. I don't think I saw you at the other stop, so I wanted to make sure I introduced you. Got some gear up here. What's your name again? Eleanor. So come okay. on up, but do so slowly and orderly. Wouldn't he, wouldn't he just talk while you're talking? <laughs> Take right in. Make it disappear. Uh, are, are you are you with press person or yes, just with the I campaign? Yes, I handle his media. Do I, can I interview at some point today? Um, it might be better if you try to get time with the senator while he's here. Oh, but I'm would, happy to, I'm happy to <laughs> yeah. speak with you over the phone and via email. Okay. My expectation was I might get one question off at the, at the senator and maybe I could get two at you. But uh, yeah, whatever, whatever works best for you guys. Um, do you have a card? I probably do. It's going to be buried under clothing. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, let me see if I can find it. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Good, how are you? Good to see you. I just wanted to fill you in. I believe Rick's going to do an announcement, but the meet and greet section, Senator Paul's going to come in and meet with all of, you know, the members, the attendees, and chat for a little bit. But once the Q&A session starts, Media is going to have to play. That's unfortunate. I know. We're still it recording, is. by the way. Um, that's the important part. Well, I'll do what I can with yeah, the situation well, I've that's, got. That's, it's, it's not something we can change. It's just what we agreed to with this private establishment. Does that make sense? I see. I see. Yeah. So, but we appreciate you coming out. And he's got other events today. You have, do you have a schedule or what? I'm just going to do this for this event. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, politicians either. are able to move a lot faster than I am, so I won't be able to get in front of him. Help! No, it's not a small. It's not a big place, so you might be able to get some time with him. I do appreciate you at least uh, uh, informing you of this. Now, will he be answering any questions from the press anywhere here today? Not here. Okay. No. All right. Not necessarily going to stop us from asking, but I'll leave right. in order. <laughs> I know that. I know that. Okay. Thanks. So I guess in order to minimize positive coverage for Dr. Paul, they're kicking the press out during the uh, question and answer session. But that will be later. He's getting pretty good media attention. That's the third mainstream press photographer I've seen today. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay. I mean, he looks mainstream press. He probably is. <laughs> how you doing? So, I have a little bit of a dilemma here. Uh, I'm not positive that Paul is not going to be answering questions from the media today. He might answer some somewhere. Um, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to answer any at this event. And of course, in fairness to him, that is how he's able to do, I guess, six events in New Hampshire in one day, is by keeping the time factor down. Answering questions does take a lot of time, and this will save him time if he's not answering questions. I'm guessing you wouldn't want to save 20% on Amazon.com. You wouldn't want to be able to use bitcoins instead of dollars. And you wouldn't want decentralized commerce. If I'm right in these assumptions, well, you certainly wouldn't want to visit purse.io to beat the status quo.